Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing some more art journaling in the MCR B6 TN or Traveler's Notebook. If you are unfamiliar, if this is your first time on my channel, if you haven't heard about the MCR B6 TN project, I do have a whole playlist. There are several videos in there um, about, you know, what it is, why I started it, and just some various things like this. So today I am doing an art journaling spread in the Black Parade insert. Um, prior to this, I had only done an art journaling spread in the Revenge insert. And I was just, I was just kind of like on my computer and I was listening to music and working and I started listening to Black Parade is Dead and I just started getting into a mood. <laughs> Uh, and I was like, you know what? I really want to I want an art journal about Black Parade. And I had no clue where this was going. And that's what I've really been enjoying about art journaling is that I'm not planning it. I am, you know, I have somewhat of a rough idea of what I want to do, but it, you really, it's just like the definition of trust the process. Um, so I printed some photos, I actually printed them like on clear sticker paper. What I love about it is that I, I get to enjoy the process of just creating and really just seeing where it takes me. I don't go in with some plan of, okay, this is how I want this to look. Um, I just kind of sit down with my materials and just, you know, let it speak to me, I guess. And I'm not going to lie, when I was first working on this spread, about halfway through, I hated it. I felt stuck, I didn't know where to go. I was like, this is so stupid, this looks so terrible. And I just didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, but again, you have to just trust the process. And even if you do end up hating something, that is still a part of your journey, a part of your process, and it's a learning experience. And you know, you still created and you still, you know, flex your creative muscle. Even if you don't like the result, you now you may be known, okay, next time I want to do this. And so the materials I use today, um, obviously I have the insert, which is on black sketch paper. Um, again, I, I do have a video on how I made these inserts. They're like homemade inserts. Um, I do have a video in that playlist, which I will link in the cards and in the description, so you can check that out. Um, so I have the black paper, I used some white acrylic paint and I used a little sponge brush you'll see in the top right corner. Um, just It's just from Dollar Tree, just very simple <laughs> little sponge brush. Um, I used some stickers that I printed out and cut with my Cricut. Uh, the little <laughs> Black Parade era Gerard Pop picture I actually cut out of a Hot Topic ad that I got in the mail and I've had it for a long time. And I used some white pens, um, I will link them in the description, and then, then I just used a silver uh, jelly roll pen. I used a little bit of washi in this spread as well, haven't gotten to that yet, but I do use a couple pieces of washi. Uh, one of them has, it's black and has middle fingers on it, and that's from the honeybee shop. And the other one is just a black and white striped washi that I got at Dollar General, of all places. So obviously, with having the clear sticker paper on the black paper, it's not going to be super vibrant, but that's actually the effect I was going for. I wanted those images to be kind of in the background, so I thought the clear sticker paper on black would be kind of the best way to do that. I started looking through this magazine and I, for ages, I've, you know, should I tear it apart? Should I pull this stuff out and, and put it in the, in my art journal? And I, I can't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't let myself just tear it apart. So I am planning on scanning a lot of this. I just haven't done it. So I need to scan some of the stuff and then I can print it and use it. But I don't want to take the, I don't want to take the magazine apart. It was like a special edition. Alternative Press Magazine. And so again, without really thinking about it too much, I just went in with some Mod Podge. I just wanted to, 
I don't know, give some kind of dimension to this. And I thought maybe just using a little Mod Podge would help. Uh, the one that I put down on the 2006 is actually the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. But I didn't know, and now I know, that the way that that reacted with the white ink, it made it turn pink, but that was okay. I just went over it with a white gel pen later. So here I know it looks like, what are you doing? So yeah, this was a little bit of a mess. So I had an actual printed photo glued down on the paper, and then I had a clear sticker of the same photo. And I thought, oh, maybe I can like layer it over top for like a cool layering effect. And then it ended up like sticking in the wrong spot and it was a mess. And so it ended up just being kind of a mess, <laughs> but I worked with it. Again, you just, you got to trust the process. And I wanted to add some sort of texture again, some kind of dimension. And I found some really old Mod Podge, <laughs> like really old. Um, and I decided to just put that on top of the photo and the washi, and then also the date sticker. I'm not totally in love with how it came out, but I'm glad that I played around with it. I just wish that I had been neater with it around the date. It's just, it's just kind of messy, but that's okay. Messy is fine. So I went, I used my hair dryer on it, <laughs> got it all dry so I could continue working. Um, but it really was just, you know, I was starting at this point to feel kind of overwhelmed and feel kind of like, oh man, I screwed up. This is a disaster. This is going to be so ugly. Why did I do this? You really just have to go with it and realize like, you're, you're just playing with stickers, paper, pens. Like, this is supposed to be fun. Don't get overwhelmed. So yeah, yeah, I'm going over the 2006 because it turned pink with that Mod Podge. This was the point where I felt like I'm stuck. Like, I, I don't know what to do now. And I was having a really hard time and I, I started to get really upset because I was like, I, I don't like this. I don't, I don't know what to do. I have all this blank space, but I don't know what to do with it. And this next technique that I'm going to be doing I learned, I've, I've mentioned her so many times on my channel, but I'm just gonna keep doing it because she's amazing. So, Shauna Klingerman is the person who introduced me to art journaling in the first place. And I always saw on her Instagram, she would post her art journaling spreads and she would have this text that it almost looked like it wasn't really legible, but it was if you looked really close, but it really just was a, a way to kind of decorate the page. And I love the way she did it. And she actually posted about it once. She posted that, you know, here's a tip. Uh, if you ever, you know, want to kind of do some deco in your art journal with writing and kind of have the writing be, you know, the art, um, you just start writing and you don't pick up the pen. And I thought that was genius. And I know that she mentioned that she learned that from someone else. I can't remember who it was. Um, so before I before I started doing that, I was just writing some of my favorite lyrics from Black Parade, just from various songs on the album. I was actually listening to, to the music. I wish I could put it in the video, but you know how YouTube is. And I wrote down some lyrics and then I felt kind of stuck. And that's when I decided that I was going to utilize Shauna's technique, or the technique that I learned from Shauna. Um, I just wrote Pepe's name there. Yeah, you can see I'm just, I'm just thinking. I'm just like, ah, uh, I don't know what to do. And then I just wrote some, some lyrics from the song Sleep. And this pen really saved the day. Um, again, I'll link it in the description. I can't even remember the brand name. But I picked this up at Michael's, back where they have all the individual pens that you can buy. And it's a white uh, hand lettering pen. And it just, 
uh, it just saved the day with this spread. So you can see how I'm writing very, you know, it's very messy. I'm just not picking up the pen, um, only to kind of like, you know, cross the T's and dot the I's. Um, but I'm just going through and I started with just the lyrics that came to my head, which were the lyrics from The End, which is the first song on the record. And I just started writing. Um, I did end up doing them a little out of order because I was just, I was listening to music while I was doing it. I wasn't really paying attention. And I did like <laughs> the first verse and the chorus and then I totally skipped the second verse, but it doesn't matter. Um, and I just, I really like the effect of this. I'd never tried it before, but I saw Shauna doing it and it looked beautiful. And I love it because you just get to really be kind of messy, but it ends up giving a really cool effect. And then also I know what I wrote and I know that if I look closely at it, I can, you know, I can see what I was writing. It's pretty cool. So thank you, Shauna, for posting about that on your Instagram. So in the end, I really learned with this that I have to trust the process. Because like I said, halfway through, I absolutely hated it. <laughs> and I ended up loving the result. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to subscribe if you have not. It would be very appreciated. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And let me know if you've ever tried any art journaling. And if you want to know more about the MCRB60N, please ask in the comments. I'd be happy to answer your questions. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.